Right, welcome to the Yorkshire uh, coastline and uh, we've got a damp day today in the Lake District so perfect for getting the paints out and um, taking a walk along this coastline. Um, this is the view which um, inspired me. Um, I'm walking, I walked along the coast from Whitby through to Robin Hood's Bay which is a beautiful walk. And we passed lots of wildflowers all along the way and grasses and it really was a beautiful day and you've got the cliff edges along here and the fields which is quite nice. Nice sky and the sea. So we've got quite a lot in the painting and I have already done a pastel painting of this um, a couple of years ago. And uh, you can see sort of the same I'm going to use a similar sort of format composition um, but obviously not painting in pastels but painting in watercolour which is a little bit different and uh, I'm still wanting to do the the wild sort of flowers in this section um, nice sort of sky as well and uh, I quite like this the yellow into the field for the corn fields and what I tend to do when I'm painting now anyway, I don't tend to just copy a paint, a, a photograph. I have lots of ideas, so I've got some ideas here of the the lovely grasses um, that you can get and some of the flowers that you can get. Um, so I have lots of little bits all around that just sort of inspire me. And I've been thinking about this picture and I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to paint the sky or the sea yet. I'm going to paint them later. I'm going to concentrate and get some of this little area done. And then moving into here and into this front. And I think I'm going to plan on painting this, then come to paint the, um, the sea and the sky. The reason why I'm painting the sky later is because then I've got the colours in and I can gauge the tonal values and the darkness or the lightness of the sky. Sometimes when you just paint a sky to start with and you've got nothing to, to sort of look against, it can be quite difficult and you can sometimes paint, I think, too dark a sky. Um, so that is hopefully what we're going to do. Um, so straight away I'm going to... Uh, start by adding some aurelian yellow and I'm just going to paint this into this area and then I'm going to drop colours in as I go along and that's the idea. So the paper's dry, I've sketched out this little rough area so uh, very quickly just add in some watery Aurelian. And uh, paint this down into the cliff edge. And while I'm on, I'm going to paint a nice base over this field. And uh, I might just leave slithers of little bits of white paper shining through. So it gets rid of quite a lot of the the paper to start with. There we've done that and uh, tell you what I'm going to just paint some just a little bit into here as well just to give it a it'll hopefully give it a nice unity. So it's very very weak really in yellow. quite watery
because some I think at times we're quite frightened. That was a little bit of opera rose caught into that there. I think we're frightened to uh, to start, and you know we the white paper can be quite daunting. So that's that's start, and uh, I think I'm going to go with that opera rose and just paint a little bit into the cliffs coming down. So these are just the first sort of washes. So that was just mixed into a little bit of the uh, Aurelian. Adding a little bit in here just for for good measure, and uh, probably want a little bit now. Just going to use a little bit of this uh, a, a greeny shade, a bit like a it's a lighter sap green. I must look and check what the the colour is. I'll write it down. So I'm just adding that. While that's still slightly wet, just painting a little bit of a field in the background. Maybe just add a tiny touch of the cobalt blue. A bit more maybe cobalt blue. bit of yellow maybe and just letting it do its own thing which is quite nice and uh, I think I just want a little bit of um, I'm going to try this I think it's Indian gold is this just bringing a little bit down into that cliff edge so it's all still quite nice and wet just have a little bit in there and I'll put a little bit over this field as well And then I'm going to mix up some ultramarine blue and some opera rose. Let's see what that's like. And this is just for the, the shadows in the, the cliffs. So painting them as though in the direction of the cliffs. And a bit more blue and this should complement against the yellow quite nicely and then uh, touch deeper even still so a bit a little bit stronger maybe with a tiny bit of the red instead of the opera rose And this is again just for this. I'm 
now then, how did that happen there? Let's give it a quick... Did I say I wasn't painting the sky first? <laughs> Just get rid of that. So, just back in. So it's still nice and wet. And letting, letting the paint sort of decide where it wants to go a little bit. Build some things over there and then I'm just going to just add a tiny little bit more colour, a bit of that green and blue. Right, so that is that little bit. I'm just going to see if I can just take out little marks just for to create again that little bit of the the, the cliff rocks and things. I'm just using the side of the knife to just try and get shapes into here. But that is working quite nicely. So I'm going to uh, let this dry and then I'm going to come back and uh, see how we're going on.